Today, we take you to experience indoor rock climbing in Shanghai. Are you ready for the adrenaline rush? Oh. Only on Shanghai A to Z. Why, is he really human? <laughs> He's moving so fast. This is obviously not a real rock face. Yeah. But they are real people and they've been training in rock climbing. Uh -huh. And this is a sport I'm recommending today, rock climbing. Rock climbing, awesome. Rock climbing is a physically and mentally demanding sport, one that often tests a climber's strength, endurance, agility, and balance along with mental control. Thus, rock climbing is often referred to as ballet on a cliff. So, here's the rock, and it's a vertical wall that goes all the way up there. Yeah. And then we have the knobs here. Yeah, they're all differently shaped. They are, they are. They're, um, they're for your hands and for your feet, and you just use them to climb up like that. Yes. And it's also very important is to wear comfortable clothes, right? Yes, comfy clothing, yeah. for sure. All right, so we can just uh, start climbing up the wall. Uh, I think we need a safety harness. That's very important. Oh, yeah. Safety harness. <laughs> This is a safety harness, uh -huh. and these are professional rock climbing shoes. Yes. So these shoes are extremely flexible, uh -huh. and they have a special layer of rubber. Okay. It helps with the traction. So it's like an extra layer of rubber skin. And they also should be one size smaller than your normal shoe size, because they have to be very tight. Ah? You want to wear a small shoe? Yes. Oh, yeah. You can also hire the safety equipment from this rock climbing facility. The harness is 10 RMB, and it's also 10 RMB for the shoes. So Matt, do you know how to put on the safety harness? Not really. <laughs> so we're putting this on like we're putting on trousers. <laughs> we have to make sure that the buckle is facing outwards. And we have to make sure it's not too tight. There should be enough space left for one hand. <laughs> Bouldering is often considered as the most challenging kind of rock climbing of all. It is the kind undertaken without ropes and normally limited to very short climbs over a crash pad so that a fall will not result in serious injury. Unlike traditional climbing or sports climbing, bouldering is the style that emphasizes power and dynamics and often focuses on the techniques of climbing instead of undertaking a full-bodied climb. Bouldering is so difficult, I'm going to try my hand at this hole up here because it looks a lot easier. Well, this wall is about 80 meters high uh -huh. and it's pretty difficult because it's on an angle yeah. and there's even an overhang. Oh, yeah, I can see that up there. Yeah. Okay. This okay. wall is also used for competitions. Uh -huh. Contestants have to climb as high as they can in a certain amount of time. So Matt, yeah. I think we should start with this one. Okay. This is a beginner's wall. Oh good. It's 15 meters high uh -huh. and it equals up to a five-story building. So it's still pretty high. Yeah. And you can be like Spider-Man. The reason why this wall is so easy is because number one, it just goes straight up. It's flat and vertical. The second thing is, is the knobs are much easier to get a hold of. Uh, not like the advanced ones over there, they're really hard. Let's start. <laughs> For any sport, warming up is the first thing to do before you gear yourself up for the fun. A warm-up exercise may increase your heartbeat and temperature in muscles to prevent unnecessary injury. But the exercise should be specific to the task required to perform in order to activate the right energy systems and prepare the correct muscles. For rock climbing, 
moving your neck is the first thing to do. Then followed by stretching your arms and legs in order to help you relax your muscles before the intensity of the climb. A good warm up should last about 10 minutes. All right, I'm all fired up, I'm ready to go. Now it's time to show some strength and agility. I'm gonna attack this wall right here. Hey, Wesley, don't, doesn't matter. As long as I coordinate my hands and my feet, no problem. All righty. Ah. So now the instructor's gonna attach the rope to my harness and he's gonna be down the bottom belaying me, which basically means that if I fall, I won't fall too far. It's much safer that way. Matt, how are you feeling up there? Well, it's pretty high when you look down. A lot of people give up because they're afraid of heights. Oh! <laughs> it's true, 50 meters up, it is pretty high. But the more scared you are, the more energy you're using. It's a It's a bit high. With the protection of the rope and the coach down here, you're very safe. Climbing is almost as safe as walking on the ground. Most people think you use your hands and your arms to climb up the rock face, but in fact, you have to use your legs. Your legs help you climb up and maintain your balance. Hey Matt, mm. you look pretty good up there. I did. You want to race? Well, to be honest, I'm stronger, but I'm carrying a lot more weight. And you're pretty fit, so I might even be at a disadvantage there. Well, we'll find out. Coming up next, who is the winner of this rock climbing race? Is it Lee Tong? Are you ready? Or is it... <laughs> Are you ready? You better be ready. I'm gonna beat you! No! I'm gonna win! There's no holds! Ah! No! Ah. <laughs> I think it's going to take me 10 years to become like Spider-Man for now. I'll have to settle for Spider-Pig. Come on, don't be discouraged. Yeah. You, know, you might not be as good as I am at rock climbing, yeah. but with some more training, I'm sure you're going to be the next Spider-Man. I will be. Here are some good suggestions for improving your rock climbing. Okay. Rock climbing is a great sport which requires the coordination of the whole body. For a beginner, there are some exercises you could try first so as to improve your rock climbing skills. For example, rope skipping might improve your respiration system, yoga is good for flexibility, swimming for your endurance, and table tennis to increase your reaction time. If you are serious about rock climbing, it's recommended to go rock climbing at least twice a week for about two hours each time. That was great. Oh, tell me about it, Lee Dong. Well, you know what I've learned today? You cannot become an advanced rock climber overnight. Mm -hmm. So I think I've got to do a lot more practice. Well, this is such a great challenge, both mentally and physically. Yes. And it's such a great workout for your whole body. It is, it is. So if you want to get slimmer and stronger, do some rock climbing. Want to race again? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Psst. <laughs> Here are some tips you should remember before you hit the rocks. First, wear comfortable clothes and shoes one size smaller are a must. They help to fully stretch your body. Second, warm up your body and relax your mind before you start, thus avoiding unnecessary sports injuries. Third, people with heart disease, high blood pressure or acrophobia are not encouraged to indulge in rock climbing. Here are some of our recommendations for rock climbing in Shanghai.